tonight we have a wonderful show for you, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy every minute of it. First of all, it's my great... <laughs> you will do anything for a laugh, won't you? What are you talking about? Well, it just come on. You... What do you mean? I haven't done anything yet. You... Is it the suit? No. Is it? No, 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 no the suit's oh, all right. right. Fine. What is that on your lip? Nothing on my lip. No. Not a thing. Nothing. That sounds like Tommy Cooper. <laughs> There's nothing on my lip. <laughs> Never mind about the you should have You should have disappeared by now. Mind you about you the nearly have. You... What's that on your top lip? Oh. Nothing. Oh, nothing. No. Nothing at all. Nothing. You have grown a mustache. I haven't. No, no, I'm not. no. Oh, that's not a mustache. I'm mining it for a friend. You... <laughs> Uh, that is a... Well, what is that then? What is it? It's a false one. Oh, it's a false one. Yes. Oh, it's a false moustache. I oh, just said that. Yes. In that case, false it'll, it'll come off then, won't it? Yes. Yes, it'll come off. It'll come off. Ah, oh, touch it. You leave me bush alone. What are you doing? What, are you, what do you want to embarrass me for in front of everybody? Because I like embarrassing you. I know what you've done. You've grown a moustache, haven't you? A real one. And I know why. Because you're getting middle-aged. You want to present a new image, don't you? You want to look all young and trendy with that moustache. Not getting middle-aged. Yes, sure. Huh? Belt you. <laughs> You're losing it on top, so you're making up for it with that moustache, aren't you? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! The truth, you see. I hit the truth. You're going bald at the front. I'm not! Bald in bald. <laughs> I've no need to grow one of these to make for that, for that up there. Uh, I can always walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... Well, I never. We all know that. <laughs> we all know that. That's why you're so flaming frustrated. <laughs> you grew that for a girl, didn't you? No, she grows her own. <laughs> it's longer than mine. I've got ginger tips. <laughs> so the <was> snuff. <laughs> Has anyone else seen it? No, it's the first time I've had it out. <laughs> first time I've been out since I started to grow it. You've embarrassed me now. And when did you start to grow it? Yesterday afternoon. You, <laughs> you grew that moustache overnight? Yeah. It is impossible to grow anything that big in 24 hours. Oh, no. No, not, not with a new medical product that is out on the market now. Medical product? Yes. And what's that? These. What are they? Moustache seeds. <laughs> moustache seeds? Moustache seeds made by a firm in Bushy. Yeah. <laughs> It's not true, and you know it. There's no such thing as mustache seeds. These are mustache seeds. In this packet is these seeds, huh? Mm -hmm. There's at least one nine-foot beard or 35 mustaches. Really? Yes. I find that hard to believe. It's true. Unbelievable. Do you know what? What? A mustache would suit you. Do you think so? Have a look. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> but not that shape, though. Any shape you want. Well, what sort of a shape do you think I ought to have? A long one. Long one? Yeah, one of those go all the way down there, like a full man chew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. So you can tie it on top of your wig on a windy day. <laughs> Good idea. It is. I do get trouble with the wind. I have heard that. <laughs> Here, these, these mustaches, how do they work? It's got it written on the packet. Yeah? Place seeds on top lip yeah. in early March. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lie for three hours against a south-facing wall. I'll avoid frost, which I always do. Have you seen that program? Yeah, I avoid. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to try those, you know. I really would. Yeah, well, they are. How much are they? Very expensive. Expensive? Twelve guineas a packet. Twelve guineas? Oh, what a shame. Twelve hmm? guineas. Do you think I could get some round the corner? No, no, they've sold out. Sold out? So popular, Ern, oh. but they've sold out. Oh, I'd like to have had some. Hmm. I feel really brought down now. You didn't have far to go, though, did you? you... Let's be honest. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, I'll do for you. What? Teeny Chew. Look at me when I'm doing something for you. <laughs> what I'll do? What? You can have these, and there's plenty left. Yeah. You can have those for the five. A five? A five. Gosh. Thank you. Thank you. My little middle-aged friend. Thank you. <laughs> there you are. There's the five. Yeah. Mustache seeds. Now, what do I have to do? I have to put them up. Wait a minute. Top lip. Place the seeds on the top lip. That's right. In early March. Yeah. And in no time at all, huh? Look at me. Yeah? You'll have a mustache like that. A luxurious mustache like you, that. You feel the quality of that. All right. <laughs> 
I thought it didn't. I would love to have a mustache. That's a beauty. You can't buy that. No. Have a look. See if it suits you. No, no don't, don't do that. What's it done? No, it makes me sneeze. Eh? <laughs> makes me. Makes oh. me. And your hands are fast. You'll never learn, you know. Never. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's our special guest star and friend, Mr. Val Dunican. <laughs> And how are we feeling today? Not too bad, nurse. Not too bad. Good. Well, you have a visitor. Is it Eric Morecambe? That's right. Tell him I died during the night. <laughs> so wise. Now, a nice little chat with your friend will cheer you up. Cheer me up? It drives me mad. He'll pop his head round that door in a minute and say, Hello, who goes there? Friend of Renema. <laughs> Hello, who goes there? Friend of Renema. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's a good girl. Hello, you working? Oh, you're here. Yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I am. Friend is here, Mr. White. Oh, is he? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yes, I know. Yes? I can let you have ten minutes. Well, that's very kind. Where shall we go? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White, just ten minutes now. Remember, you have to be down in the theatre at half past three. Please come back, nurse. Please. Good luck to Matney. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you feeling then? All right. Had a word with the doctor on the way in. Oh, yeah? What did yeah. you say? Full of confidence, yes. Yeah. He said, you'll be out of here within 15 years. <laughs> Thank you. Worry. Isn't it funny with hospitals, you know? The way they advocate fresh air and then they'll have a window open. Have you noticed that? Eh? Good. <laughs> Shut that window! Yeah. What is all? Sorry about that. Do you want me to catch me death or cold and finish up with in hospital? There's a thought. I would think someone will never know. Uh. You fancy this next dance? <laughs> Leave him up home, he's not well. If I bring you a cordial, will he give us a selection? <laughs> Malone! He's poorly! <laughs> Don't light your pipe in here, it's not allowed, there's no... Look out, the nurse is coming, get rid of it, quick! <laughs> Mr. Smith, now you know you're not supposed to smoke. Filthy habit, smoking. Of course it is. Filthy habit. And you're putting too much starch in his diet! <laughs> Leave him alone, he's not well. You're all right, if you can go skin diving, let's face it. <laughs> this is a huge joke to you, isn't it? You never know what to say in hospitals here, really. You've come along for a few laughs, and oh. You got up this morning and you said, I think I'll go along to the hospital and have a few laughs. Watch a couple of operations or something. No, you're wrong. Typically you, that. As a matter of fact, all this joking is just a facade. Facade? Yes, for the feeling of guilt I've got because you're in this condition. And so you should feel guilty as well. I wouldn't be in this hospital bed if it hadn't been for your carelessness. I'll take the full blame, man. Yeah. It's a complete oh, accident. Pivoting. Complete accident. Accident? Yeah. Did you say it was? Well, I mean, you're up on that 35-foot ladder, painting that guttering. I was down below. I didn't realize the blow lamp's flame went 35 feet in the alley. <laughs> I was there, remember? I only saw you for half a second. Just a quick flash as you went by. <laughs> With that surprised look and a slight smell of burning. That's all I saw. <laughs> Next thing I remember, I finished up in this hospital. You bed. were lucky. You were lucky. Yeah. If it hadn't been for that flower tub breaking your fall, you could have had it. You know that. Ah, thank goodness that flower tub was there. That's the trouble with you. You've got no consideration for other people. You're a stupid idiot, eh? Carrying on all the time. It's not Rob McEwen, is it? <laughs> Find out what he wants. Can I help you, son? What? What's he want? Something about a bread van. <laughs> what? A bread van. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Are you getting plenty to eat? Yes, thank you. I bought you some grapes. Oh, I wouldn't mind a grape. I thought you'd like some grapes. Oh, I What's love that? grapes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry that a bit like that, but it was a long journey on the bus. Yeah. I've got a big peckish. Oh, man, 
right here. We're trying to... Yeah, I haven't seen him before. Must be new. Oh, I wonder who that is. Val Donegan rushing across to ATV. <laughs> He'll be back. Are these yours? Yeah. Must be an agony having to wear these things. What? Eh? No. <laughs> with them. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> well, we might have to sell you a bike. Hey! <laughs> oh, we might have to sell you a bike. Now, listen to Jimmy Young every morning on those. Well, no wonder you're in here. <laughs> Did you bring me something to read? I tried to, but girl's crystal's out of print now, you know. Is it? <laughs> not anymore. It's one of my favourites. I know. I tried to get it for you, though. Mr. Morgan? Yes? Now, oh, please. Oh, let leave. Yes, oh. we have to get Mr. Wise ready for his operation. I see. Yeah. Going to be operator on this afternoon, then? Yes, I am. He looks fit enough to me. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with me? Huh? You don't know? Show him, nurse. <laughs> Now, for Ethel, Frank, and family at West Hartlepool, <laughs> Mum and Dad and everyone at 26, birthday parents, in number 372. <laughs> <laughs> Something amusing, you said? Oh, what's that supposed to be? That's a police guard, dog, sir. <laughs> and will that protect you from a dangerous criminal? Yes, sir. Never. Would you care to try and hit me over the head with your umbrella, sir? Hit you over the head with my umbrella? Yes, please. All right, if you insist. <laughs> Yes, Doctor, I operated on your patient this morning and I can honestly say that his hearing is now 100% perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Finest ear specialist in Europe. It's very kind of you to say so, Doctor. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Come in. See the ear specialist, please. I am the ear specialist. Oh, well, can you tell me what time we'll be back? <laughs> Would you please come in? All right, I'll wait outside. <laughs> please come in and sit down. Just down half past three. <laughs> I know what the time is. Won't you please sit down? No, I've already eaten. Thank you very much. <laughs> How long have you had trouble with your hearing? Oh, I'll answer it for you. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Hello? You have to speak up! Have some... I think I'd better test your hearing. Well, it's cleared up now. It's beautiful outside. A lovely day. <laughs> Sun shining? I'm going to test your hearing. Would you please sit down? <laughs> sit down? Oh. my time. I've just told you, just down half a three. <laughs> There's no need to shout, you know, I don't need glasses. I'm a very busy man, so please, would you please leave at once? But just a moment, sir. I've cleaned your windows now with this office block for 15 years. You owe me over 3,000 pounds. No, thank you, I don't smoke. <laughs> now, 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's request time. Now, get off. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right you saying that back there. You come out front of this curtain and say that. All right, sunshine, I Come will. on, let's see you do that. Trouble. I've all seen who's just fallen on my legs at the back. All the scenery on your legs at the back? I've just said all that. Yeah. All the scenery on my legs at the back. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now request time. No, no, it's just a moment I... What? I'm in agony here. Out now, agony. This me. is another one of your jokes. I know you. Well, there's no jokes. You, you go round in the Jimmy Cagney suit and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke. I'll show you. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm telling you. God, there's all this scenery falling across you. What have we told you? All that, you fool! Well, <laughs> yeah. lift some of it up. It's crushing me fibula. <laughs> well, I'll try. Yeah. I'll try and do the best. Hurry up, my ankles are swelling up. I can feel them. Hey, listen. What? Listen, there's a... Oh, you're there. It's going to take hours to get all that stuff off your legs there. I'll do the best I can. Well, hurry up, will you? Well, it's you'll... It's painful for me, yeah? You'll have to, um, entertain the ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Huh? How? Well, do your farmyard impression. <laughs> A day on the farm? Yeah, do that. I haven't done that for 30 years. Well, you do the best. Good. Because I'll go and get the saw, you see, and I'll saw some of the timber away from you and everything. All right, then. All right? Day on the farm. Oh, okay, the day on the farm. Yeah. Good night. The show must go on. <laughs> I know, that's true. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have you been... I don't present you now. God, you haven't. A day on the farm. Yeah. <laughs> the farm the other day. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I met my old friend, Farmer Brown, who was swinging on the gate, and he said to me, Oh, my leg! <laughs> oh, no. oh, do it as fast as I can, I'm sorry. It's all right, everything's working out. <laughs> the show must go on. <laughs> That's true. Hey, don't go away. Yeah. I know you're going to say that. Yeah. You've just been... Later on, I met Bess, the farmer's daughter, outside the cottage, cooling her pies. <laughs> then she spoke to me in a delightful Somerset accent. She said, Can you move your leg, Eric, so I can get at it? <laughs> come on. Come on. I've got the saw. But all right, I've got the saw, and I'm going to start sawing the wood. Good lad. Yes, show must go on. Yes. <laughs> Don't go on. <laughs> was one of the nicest things that could ever happen to us nature lovers was the call, the mating call of the woodpecker. He flew very close to me, smelling slightly of cider. <laughs> what I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen, is... <laughs> What's going on? All right, everything's in the control. Are you sure? Huh?
Why, they can't win them all. music on there. Can I hear it with you? Um, can I hear the music with you, please? Mystery voice thing. They don't want to listen to the mystery voice. 85 quid. Nobody knows who it is yet. Put it on. I've sent 300 cards in. Have you? Yeah. Oh, let's have a listen to it. Never know. Could be lucky. Ah, that was a lovely record. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our mystery voice competition stands at 85 pounds. Oh. And we're ringing up tonight's contestant to see if he can guess who the voice is. And the name on the card is Mr. Eric Morecambe. Hello, Mr. Morkin. Hello! Are Hello! You there, Mr. Morkin. Yes! Speak up! Speak up, please! Be louder! No, 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 no! On the telephone! On the telephone! Hello! No, no! Wait what? for it to ring! Ring! Hello! Hello, Mr. Morkin. Hello! Mr. Morkin. Yes, that's true! Uh, that's Mr. true! Mr. Morkin. Yes, that's me! For 85 pounds. Oh, yes! Do you have any idea whose voice this is? It's you! <laughs> I've got 85 quid! Oh, not I'll have it in postal orders, no. please! No, no. Got this... another pool, you see? Pull no, Mr. Morecambe. No, this voice, Mr. Morecambe. Oh. From now on, the pound abroad is worth 14% or so less. <laughs> that doesn't mean, of course, that the pound here in Britain, in your pocket or purse or in your bank, has been devalued. Oh, no. Well, Mr. Morecambe, yes. whose voice do you think it is? Oh. Yes. Oh, oh dear. Come on. <laughs> hey. Come on, Mr. Morecambe. Yes, yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me no, think. Come on now. Yes, I will. Uh, we want you to do it. All right, I'm trying. Ah! <laughs> yes, Mr. Brock. Ah, shut up. Of course I'll have a flaming guess. Shirley Bassey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. Bad luck. You're wrong. Ah, shut up. Big Irish twit. I bet his mother knows who it is. That wasn't Shirley Bassey, you fool. That was Adam Wilson. It wasn't. It wasn't Harry Wilson, oh, it was Shirley Bassey when she, when she was our Prime Minister in Tiger Bay. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Oh, shut up, what for? Have a little consideration for the people next door. Put it top, about there's nobody in there. It hasn't been in there for months. That's what you think. There's a couple just moved in. A young married couple. They only got married this morning. They're on their honeymoon. <laughs> now? No, yeah. <laughs> like a couple of turtle doves they are. Yeah, yeah, I suppose they are, yeah. I think we ought to ask them round for a drink sometime. What's your time? About quarter to twelve. I'll ask them now, then. <laughs> yeah, for... <laughs> you. What? What? Well, use a bit of tact. How do you mean? Well, think. Well? Just married, aren't they? So? Well, they'll be busy. Oh? Well, you know, when people get married and they're on their honeymoons and everything on the first night, I mean... Oh. oh. Things happen, don't they? <laughs> what have you gone all red for? You've gone all red! <laughs> We've got another false flushes coming on. <laughs> I'm not getting through to you! Do you know about the birds and the bees? Is he a gardener? No! <laughs> what the? You're a married couple! Well, what? Hey, my... Hey, my... Go 
Look, look, Terry! What? Well, they're probably... They're probably very busy, you uh, Putting the curtains up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'd be doing. And I know it's what you'll be doing. Yeah. Did you hear that, then? Yes. Was it them next door? I think she's having trouble with the filming. I'll go see if she wants to bother me hammer. You... Come back here, will you? Leave him alone. Want to be a neighbourly? Don't want to know about you. <laughs> what are you doing? Sit on my piano. <laughs> I think I've got to rehearse sometimes, haven't I? I don't make it all up as I go along. Most of Cheers. It. <laughs> I'm mad, you do. Just stop. Oh, you got one? Yeah, last one in the shop. I didn't see in the shop window. No. On television. She signed it to me, you know. To you? Yeah, look. To my other short, flat, hairy friend. <laughs> hey, nice. Hi there. Yeah? Full of love poems, you know. Is it good? Yes, it's all about uh, Harold and, and her son Giles. What, the cartoonist? No. Boy, <laughs> Giles. Oh. Twinkle, twinkle, Edward Heath. <laughs> Haven't you got lovely teeth? <laughs> Will you please tell me when we'll be back in number 10? <laughs> Very good. I, I thought that would have been rubbish, but it's good stuff, that. Good stuff, isn't I like it? that stuff. on Sunday. They don't want to know about you in there. Now leave them alone. Let's go to sleep. Where's your sense of humor? Have you no respect for the sanctity of marriage? How can you ask me such a question? You know very well I haven't. <laughs> marriage is sacred. It's true. It must be a happy union. Transport in general. <laughs> Transport in general? They're a happy union? <laughs> Marriage! My father's in the transport in general. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, he idolises me, Mum. Now, that's nice. That's lovely, that is. That's what I call a happy union. They're devoted, aren't they? Do you know what my dad did last year? No. When my mum wasn't too well because of all that snow, he sent for the doctor. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said, you've got to stop eating it. <laughs> my mother and father didn't get a lot of money before the war, though. Things were tough in those days. What? What? <laughs> Things were tough in those days. I see my father got up at five o'clock in the morning, pitch dark, clear snow. I believe that. I can believe it. Five o'clock in the morning, 25 bob a week. 25 bob a week. Seen him get up in the morning, he's cried. Cried, yeah. yeah. He's had tears in his yeah, eyes, tears. tears. He's cried at five yeah. in the morning. 25 bob a week. That's yeah. all. Five o'clock in the morning, pitch dark, mm. the snow belting down. Mm. Couldn't take it for much longer. No, no. Said to my mother, he said, Elsie, one morning, he said, oh, I can't take this. You're not going, put your shovel away. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. Yeah. What a humanitarian. Never touch meat, ever. <laughs> I suppose I was luckier than most. Yeah, your father was a vicar, wasn't he? 
Yeah, wasn't easy, though. No? He only had a small stipend. That runs in the family, doesn't it? <laughs> I had a very happy childhood. You still do. <laughs> They'll be having their nuptials now. <laughs> nuptials? Like mushrooms. <laughs> Come on toast. Nuptials on toast, yeah. I've never had nuptials. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll go ask him if you want anything. Now, that's enough for one night. Settle down and go to sleep. Now, are you talking to me? You're shouting through to them. I'm talking to you. Oh. Good night. God bless everyone at home, as well as my Auntie Nora, my Uncle John, my Cousin Wilford, Auntie Jessie, and Dr. George. God bless me, and please let Eric get run over tomorrow morning. <laughs> I heard that. Are you asleep? Eh? Goes out like a light. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Sandra. Oh, darling, I wish you didn't have to go to work tonight. I'm sorry too, love. But you know we need the money. Goodbye, darling. Oh, Charlie! All right, Charlie, he must be as well. You're listening again, aren't you? No, I'm not! Don't absolutely revolt me! Shut up! I want to listen! All I'm going to do is I'm getting out of here and let you carry on with your own sword. Well, where are you going? Then? I'm going in the next room to sleep on the settee. Are That's you what sure? I'm going to do. Yes! There's something wrong with you, I'll tell you. Good, good night. night! Good night! And if you get hungry, there's some nutules in the fridge. <laughs> Silly old fool. My house, I'll do what I want. Give your hand with your curse. Yeah, dirty little devil. Come back here! Come on! Bring this sunshine in your smile. Bring me laughter all the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness. So much joy. Exciting children's show, Do It, hosted by Ian Buckland, followed by Hazel. And remember the $25,000 Great Temptation tonight at 8.30 on Zibbons.